Welcome back for another Wednesday episode. Today we're going to finish our switch plate. It will contain all of our main light switches as well as our diesel heater control panel and the switch to turn our inverter on. We're also going to build an enclosure for our fridge which will also double as a bench seat as well as garbage storage. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Here we go, we got our switch plate made. So uh, yeah, this is gonna go on the passenger side behind the sliding door. And uh, basically we've got like bedroom lights, um, main kind of kitchen-ish lights. We've got under the kitchen cabinet lights. This one here, it's not a dimmer switch. These are all dimmer switches, as they conveniently say. I uh, really wish they didn't say that, but it's painted into them, so I think it's gonna have to be that way. But anyway, this is the rear spotlight. And then this funny looking mount, that's actually our diesel heater control panel. And then this little guy down here is uh, just a simple on and off for our inverter. So that will turn our inverter on and then turn our inverter off. Welcome back to uh, Sunday morning. Uh, basically this is our finished, finished switch panel. Um, it's gonna mount on the wall, something like this and all the switches will live inside this panel. Now, the only thing is, is we wanna be able to take this off in the future. So on every wire, I'm going to put one of these. So there's both male and female versions of these. Male obviously plugs into the female. That's how these will be able to unhook in the future. So we're gonna do all that and then um, label everything. Everything's labeled currently. I'm gonna obviously shorten these wires. A lot of these do not need to be this long and see if we can't get the switches mounted. So uh, let's get started. That's it in all of its glory. Um, might have to make a couple changes to it. I'm sure that Becky will see that when she gets here. Um, but anyway, that's that. That's pretty much done. All the wiring's done at least. Okay, so as an update, instead of using the switches that we originally purchased, we're gonna be using these ones and I'll open them up here. So this is what they look like. They look very similar to the push button 12 volt switches that we have. We will have to remake our little switch panel, but we'll include that in a later video because right now it's still the exact same. So update with that though.
All right, guys, welcome to uh, our workshop. We've got barely enough room on the floor to fit our full sheet four by eight plywood. That's a wrap for this week's episode. Next week, we're going to begin framing on our bed. We're also going to begin working on all things plumbing, so stay tuned for that on Sunday. See you guys then!